Hey hey, Solus121 here with Real Hopper Reviews and today we are looking at an upgrade guide for your basic laptop. Say you bought yourself a back to school laptop and you've got just a basic RAM kit in it and a spinning disk hard drive. In this day and age, that still happens. Today I got Passion here helping me take apart this here laptop and upgrade it up to the maximum it can handle. We're going to throw a 32 gig RAM kit in there that we're also going to give away. So stay tuned for the giveaway on that RAM kit. We are also upgrading it to a 1 terabyte by Crucial MX300 SSD. This SSD is blazing fast and with one terabyte of storage there is no reason for that spinning disk backup. Now with this upgrade guide this is basically something that almost anyone could do at home. If you're upgrading your desktop it's quite simple. Usually most cases are two screws on the side, you open them up, you pop new RAM in, you change the SSD out and you run the great Acronis software that comes with this one terabyte SSD. But with a laptop it's very different laptop to laptop. Some of them might be one or two screws easily to open and very nice Asus and MSI are like this but with Dell here you've got to remove seven screws and then another four on the hard drive and then another four on the hard drive cage to swap out that SSD and get that new RAM in there. This rig is an okay rig you pay way way more than you should for something like this if you're looking at gaming stay the hell away from Dell uh, I know it rhymes but just do it Dell has done a horrible job with their pricing structure over the last few years, especially if you're in Canada. I know the US gets a little bit bigger price difference than we do. They get quite a good deal. We're in Canada. Dell is basically doing everything they can to destroy their market here. But once I threw this 32 gig RAM kit in here, or should I say passion through the 32 gig RAM kit in there and the new SSD, we noticed quite impressive increases in performance. As you can see from the charts in front of you, there was a leap in every single aspect of the system running past mark, as well as boot times and in Borderlands, CSGO, and League of Legends. All of these we had a great improvement in. I was actually impressed to see gaming results like this with just swapping out the RAM and the SSD. Normally we're told that you only really will see a great increase in frames per second when running a new GPU or CPU if your CPU is your bottleneck. That is not always true. The fact that most integrated graphics cards on processors or even on motherboards that share with the RAM will see a huge difference going from single channel to dual channel or even going to faster RAM. Also with an SSD you really get rid of the lag of a spinning disk mechanical hard drive and this can give you a huge increase in gaming performance especially on load screens. I find that sitting there waiting for a load screen to happen especially on CSGO and things like that can frustrate the living hell out of you. They can even cause you to be banned or kicked out of the game if your load time is too high if you're running something like a 5400 RPM hard drive which I have seen actually happen. You might be asking yourself, why would you be buying a brand new RAM kit and SSD after just buying a new laptop? Lots of people get screaming deals on laptops where they really have a great reason to go out there and spend that little extra to upgrade a little farther. Or maybe your class now requires these upgrades as you may be moving into Adobe and things like that which may require more RAM than your system came with. A lot of new systems only come with 8 gigs of RAM and that old saying that 8 gigs is all you need is no longer legit. Some systems will need 16 to 32 just to render video files comfortably, otherwise you'll be sitting there waiting forever. And an SSD is a great thing to have, especially if your system came with a smaller SSD or any type or size of spinning disk hard drive, as a 1TB SSD is a huge upgrade for anyone. Looking at 389.98 USD coming from Newegg, if you were going to buy this kit, you'd be getting a pretty decent price. But to make things even better, Crucial and RHR have teamed up to decide to give away a 32 gig RAM kit. To anybody who wants to enter the giveaway in the description below, we'll also be doing this giveaway on social media and other platforms for the next week. With that, I would like to thank PC Master Race for running our last giveaway with us, and hopefully they've announced the winner by this point. We'd love to thank you for all the new subs that we have gotten on all of our social media, all the new people hitting up the RHR site. We cannot thank you enough. If it weren't for all of you, we wouldn't still be around. We really, really do appreciate all the people out there, and I'm not going to do the standard intro here. I just have to thank every last one of you from everybody at RHR. Thank you, and stay awesome. We promise to have more and more top-notch content for you. And again, hopefully this guide really helped people out, and I hope you the best of luck with all our future giveaways. This is Solus121 with Real Hard Reviews, and have a wonderful day.